Okay, let's look at some of the properties of amines. Now, before I told you that the amino group have this unbonded electron pair here. Right? What that means is that amines can act as bases. Right. Now, what bases do is they accept protons. So, amines are able to act as a base and accept a proton. Okay, due to that uh, pair, unbonded pair of electrons on the nitrogen atom. Okay, so what amines do is they can accept one proton each from another substance like an acid. Okay, and just so happens that acids are substances that donate protons. Okay, so when an amine accepts a proton, it becomes positively charged. Right, so we've got a proton. Whoop, and there we go. And the product that we end up with looks like this. Okay, so it's kind of like ammonia accepting a proton and becoming the ammonium ion. Okay, except we've got a carbon chain. Okay, so. We call this a substituted ammonium ion. All right, let's look at an example. Let's have a look at I don't know something. Let's just go with something easy. Ethylamine. Right. Now, if we add some. H plus, we end up with a substituted ammonium ion, okay, and for ethylamine that would look something like this, and we've got a positive charge there, okay, so again we're looking at this hydrogen ion being bonded to that electron pair there. So we've got ethanamine and this here is called the protonated form. So what you're expected to be able to do is draw the protonated form from the structure of the amine and also draw the amine from the structure of the protonated form and I think it's really quite easy um, you're either going to be adding a hydrogen and a positive charge or removing a hydrogen and the positive charge okay pretty straightforward